The next thing I will do after make undefined region become zero is to create patch surface. So in order to make make a patch surface, the tool is this one patch surface. So what is patch surface? Patch surface is some kind of a step to close all this uh, surface. So when you have a surface, for example, this blue surface as a core, and also this one, uh, this color, this a uh, brown surface as the cavity, when I close this uh, surface, I will be able to uh, to divide this workpiece. Uh, the workpiece actually is just only solid ge solid geometry, which is the shape is box. As you can see in here, maybe I will show you this one in here. So in order to split this into core and the cavity side, all this uh, whole surface like this, this one, and also this one must be closed by using patch surface. Okay, now. To close this is very easy in NX mode. So, for example, I will use a transverse. Okay. Later, I will show you how to use this one. For example, I will close this surface. It will automatically highlight and create a loop, and also we select the reference face. But the reference face, this is not what I want, so I will uh, unselect it and I will select this surface, the surface that surround this loop. Okay, in here, check as patch a surface, click apply. Now you can see in here, it's a close. Okay. Okay, in order to make good, I will go to view. This is to enhance the uh, smoothness of the display. So if you have experiencing something like this, okay, you just go to a uh, facet uh, setting, regenerate facet, and then click OK. So it will create a smooth view. Okay, let's go back again to mold wizard. I go back to patch surface using a transverse. I will close this and then select the first face. I deselect it. I just want to select this single face because if I click a tangent face, maybe a too many a surface that will be selected and and X will take uh, takes a uh, time to create this uh, patching a surface okay now this one also let's try for this one Now you can see if I select a, a tangent, uh, will be too many surfaces selected. So I will go to single face that surrounding this loop. Okay, go to apply. Now you can see in here the result is not good. Okay, so if you found something like this, some case like this. Uh, you can undo for example you can undo now in here as I show you in the previous uh, the result is not good so in order to make that you can go to surface and go to inside-sided to create all this uh, surface but sometimes inside-sided surface also uh, not always good All to the loop is due is always like this. Okay, now you can see in here. It's 
so maybe you can uncheck the uh, preview I go to preview now in here the result is not good okay so the next thing you should do if you found some case like this you go to the advanced uh, surface uh, method and create the bridge curve first this one as a first curve this one as the second click apply this one second also this one okay and then you go to surface go to end side that again create okay so I will uncheck the preview this one and preview using the constant faces click apply do the same thing for this also okay now for this you can use also the inside-sided but I would prefer I use swap so it will create a good good tangency between uh, s this surface and this surface so it will be more smooth for example in here I will show you in here the first one so click the new set as the section number two you must make sure the arrow a ad direction between section one and the section two is the same a direction and then using guides one and then create guide number two okay now you can see I create a good smooth uh, surface but this is a still a surface not a patching surface so the this is patch surface and this is just only surface in order to uh, to tell this as a patch uh, surface like this one you must go into this edit parting and patch surface and you go select this one patch surface okay this one already uh, become patch surface because I create all these three surface using this tool and then I will add this the ordinary surface as a patch surface when I click OK it will create as a patch surface let me check again patch surface now this surface become patch surface okay so we have this patch a surface okay now I will go back again to create a the rest of it using a using a transverse go to loop select reference face put a single face okay click apply this one also same so I will click apply now we have closed all the side so we need to close again in the side okay apply Now you can see the result is not good, so we must create this manually. Okay, maybe I will just uh, delete this one. Okay, so maybe this will be good. Apply. Okay, this one is good. This also good. Okay, now we must create this uh, manually same like this one you will go to curve a, a bridge curve create the bone for this curve one and then maybe in here continue two and then maybe in here we will continue to this curve so now we have three curve and then we fill in all this uh, bridge curve by using n sided surface uh, in here. Okay. 
uh, still the tiny one yes and using constant faces okay click apply and then I will insert fill in this using constant faces now okay I will fill in this also okay using constant face so the constant face will uh, act as a as a guide to create smooth continuous uh, surface Click apply and go this one Okay. Constant faces. Constant faces. This. The surrounding face. Okay. Then click OK. So now I will get this. I already get a smooth surface. Next thing I should do is to assign it as patch surface. Okay. So now it's become a patch a surface. Now in here I will do also the same. So in here I click apply. So I I just only can create one loop for each one. Okay. This is also not good, yeah. You can see so I will maybe uh, change it a little bit later okay. so it will be good if you create one by one because you want to make sure that the patch surface the result will be good so if you just click all and then it create all the patch surface maybe on the other surface you will get a good result like this but on one side you will get bad result like this so I will say that uh, you must do it one by one in order to make uh, the best result you can get Okay, now we get a good smooth surface and then add it as a patch surface now as you can see in here the existing patch a surface must be selected okay so you should not do like this should not do like this okay so the surface 
created using patch surface must always be selected so what you need to do is to add add more and more and more now we have a uh, 24 next thing we will do is to close this one maybe I just using a inside surface I like this inside surface because uh, it create a good smooth surface uh, quickly just by, by using uh, the existing edge and the constant face it will create a smooth surface like this okay now I also will be I also will uh, add this as a pet surface and then later on I will close this huge hole okay, and assign it as a patch surface also this as a patch surface go to mold wizard okay patch surface edit this one now uh, all this uh, hole already closed but we need to check again now in here we not yet have uh, close because uh, as you can see the color is different this is the cavity color this is the core the blue is the core so what I need to do is just create a fill surface not just maybe using inside it using inside the surface click apply three ah uh, three is one also four one two three four and five okay and then assign it again as a patching surface ah uh, this one this also okay now we have this one uh, this red color as a patch surface now you can see now the hole is already closed so it will create a continuously close a surface to cut this workpiece I will show you using this one a pelting navigator when I hide uh, close the product body hide it you can see this is the pad surface okay this is the pad surface 